Let's now look at another form of inhibition, non-competitive inhibition. As the name suggests, there is no competition for the enzyme by the inhibitor. This means that regardless of whether the substrate is bound to the enzyme or not, the, inhib the inhibitor can bind to the enzyme because it is non-competitive. And likewise, if the enzyme is already bound to the inhibitor, it will still bind equally well to substrate molecules. This is, a char this is characteristic of non-competitive inhibition. How does the inhibition then occur if it loves to bind to the thing so much? Well, with the inhibitor attached to the enzyme, the enzyme substrate inhibitor complex is prevented from being converted into enzyme end products. The enzyme substrate inhibitor, inhibitor complex can only go back to form the enzyme substrate complex or the enzyme inhibitor complex. If you think about the lock and key hypothesis, in non-competitive inhibition, you can have the key in the lock, but you can't turn it because someone else is holding your hand still. Since there is no competition in non-competitive inhibition, we can say that all non-competitive inhibitions are allosteric inhibitions because binding to the active site is already a form of competition. You can't sit on a chair and say that you're not preventing someone else from sitting on a chair, right? Since the substrate and the inhibitor do not bind at the same site, it cannot be overcome by high substrate concentration. The graph of rate of reaction in the presence of a non-competitive inhibitor will not be able to reach the maximum rate of reaction even at high substrate concentration. And eventually, it will plateau at a lower maximum rate of reaction. The KM, however, remains the same as the affinity of the enzyme for the substrate is actually still the same, just that there are now less working enzymes. You may be curious as to what happens if the, in if the inhibitor had different affinities for the enzyme and the enzyme substrate complex. Well, that's what we call mixed inhibition.